So, hello YouTube. Uh, I'm Peter. I'm one of the main developers of the Mine Colonies mod. Um, just going to do this quick spotlight to show you the basics of the mod, how to get started, uh, what you ought to be doing on your first few days to get you in, pointed in the right direction. Uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was the new biome here. It's called the Flatlands and as you can see it's nice and flat. It has a few trees. Uh, these are the huts that the barbarians will eventually start spawning in. Um, this is a beta release at the moment. The barbarians aren't fully implemented. They're a bit weak. They run too fast. They die to two punches. And they hit like a floppy ragdoll. Um, but eventually they will be tougher and they will spawn in mob spawners or chests that act as mob spawners with looting in these huts. So you have to fight them to gain control of this area and be able to build safely on it. But the biome itself, pretty flat, lots of grass, few trees, um, perfect for building a colony. Now, before I start on the basics, I wanted to show you what you can actually achieve with this mod uh, with a little bit of time and effort. So, this is one I've been playing with. Um, it's got most of the workers in it, and it's just... It covers about a quarter to half the size of the area that you can populate from a single town hall. I'll try to remember not to do this too much. Um, this is my first YouTube vid. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, so my presentation style is probably going to be a bit rubbish. Um, and of course, you've got to put up with my British accent. So I will say things like aluminium and tomato. So there you go. But as you can see here, I've got a town hall leveled up all the way to level four. Uh, all four levels of the main residences, a few extra residents. I've got my supply ship off there, the inn, a few watchtowers, hunter, uh, blacksmith, a couple of minor huts, some more towers of different types, which have got guards in, uh, the barracks, which trains the guards, a couple of lumberjacks here and here, and some farmers and the baker. That's pretty much your starting setup, as you can see, all the people wandering around. And I've put in all these gravel paths myself, uh, and as you can see, the uh, the NPCs like walking on them. They walk faster when they're on gravel. Uh, it's called a roadblock. It's what we use to make them move faster. Anyway, that's just a quick overview of what you can possibly achieve. Um, and now I will take you through how to start your set colony so I will be back in a minute okay I'm back and I will put the seed to this world in the description um, but basically it's the same one I was building on um, my test world that I showed you there that's the spawn and then over here you have the new biome which is your perfect place for playing around with your first colony nice big flat area lots of trees and some reeds which you're going to need as well so the first thing in any colony you probably want to do is get your supply ship now the supply ship is the only uh, entity from the mod that you can place before your town hall it's supposed to represent the ship that brought you to this new land to start your new world um, crafting recipe is simply five boats like that gives you your supply chest now you can't just pop this down anywhere as it says needs to be next to a large body of water such as this and placed on a tile exactly at the edge of the water Bosh. And there you go your supply ship now you can either use this as a convenient starter home and yes I'm recording this video at Christmas hence the Christmas chests they're part of Minecraft itself not mine colony I might add um, and yeah so it's a pretty decent starting home or you can salvage it for materials and you're going to need lots of wood to build your colony in the starting chest you will f start it supply chest sorry you'll find a range of materials which your builder is going to need pretty soon and a number of starting chests you will notice citizens builders lumberjack miner delivery man farmer and barracks doesn't have them all there's no blacksmith there's no baker and most importantly there is no town hall that is something you will need to craft yourself now the town hall is simply a piece of paper surrounded by wood 
So it's nice and simple. I'm not going to bother crafting that. I'm sure you can figure that out. So you're going to need, as you saw, a pretty large area to build your colony. So this is the exact area I was building the previous one in. So I'm going to go ahead and put my town hall down roughly in the center of where I want it. Voila. Now right click on that. Bring up the GUI. So you can see your population. People will start spawning soon. How many settlers, citizens, nobles, aristocrats and workers you have. Uh, this is your, your um, finances. So your income, your outgoings, which is your workers salary and the balance. Is it in positive or negative? What you're taxing each settler and how much money you have in the system. Click on that and this is where you can set the tax rate for each of your level of citizens, nobles, aristocrats, etc. If you leave that on zero, you won't have any income and your workers will be taking your money. When your money runs out, the workers stop working. So it's important you do tax your citizens. Now, build house and repair house, that's for the builder. I'll show you that separately. But zoning is off. Zoning is on. This is a new feature we've added since we uh, updated it from Mine Colony. Uh, the original mod, it was very hard to position your chests without buildings overlapping and things like that. So by turning this on, as you can see, it draws a box around the chest, which is where the building will eventually be. These are the extents of the building. So the orientation you're facing when you turn that on, this is the back of the building and this is the front where the door is. As you can see, it's a little glitchy. This is a beta release, don't forget, so there are a few things like this that we will want to be fixing. But in general, it works pretty well. Now, oh, I didn't want to do that. You will need a few basic people to start your colony off. As you can see, Mine Colonies has its own creative tab with all the chests in. So, hunters, bakers, barracks, towers blacksmiths etc but you want citizens huts three of which you get in the supply chest although I should note what you get in the supply chest does depend on the difficulty so if you're playing on hard or hardcore you get next to nothing so you want citizens a builder he's probably the first person you want as he constructs all the buildings for all the other people a miner and a lumberjack to start your resources coming in so first thing you want to do is place some more citizens chests because you get four people two male two female spawn and live in the town hall which means you can get your first two workers just by placing the town hall but if you want more you're going to need citizens chests so plop them down and I turn the zoning on so that is the size of the house when it's built so I want to put another one next to it so I'm going to chop that tree down and place it about there turn that zoning on now as you can see those two overlap so that's no good if I build those two buildings it's going to look rubbish because they're going to overlap so I'm going to move it move it over a few tiles uh, and, and derp it completely and place it there so now when I check the zoning yes a nice little gap between the buildings so that's perfect so that will enable more people to spawn so you get an extra male and female per citizen's chest so the four originally from the town hall I'll try and stop doing this sorry that looks terrible when you watch the videos back the four you get from the town hall plus two citizens chest gives you four workers and four citizens or eight people in total now, builder, that was the first person I said you'd need. So, place the builder's chest. Does it overlap? No, it doesn't. So, one of the male workers, here, here he comes, or the male citizens, will come over and take the job and turn into the builder. There you go, Jim has become the builder. So now, to build buildings, simply go to the thing and click on build house same for all the chests and it'll put a sign the builder recognizes the signs that say build and comes and builds whatever the floor plan is that it says the builder has to build the buildings for it to recognize the upgrades if you try and do it yourself 
uh, it just doesn't work. So, but he's not doing anything because he needs resources. So all those starting goodies you've got in the supply chest, put it in there and he'll start to work. Now, what you don't get is torches, which he'll need. So, and there, as you can see, hang on, let me turn the zoning off. He started to build that building now. now it takes a little while and upgrading the builder's hut uh, increases the speed at which he builds buildings. So it's probably one of the first buildings you want to get done is the builder's hut itself. Sorry, I'm a little OCD with trees and buildings. There we go. Pork chop. Yeah. Right, so I'll leave him building that now. He's going to need lots of stone and lots of wood to build all these buildings. So, Lumberjack and Miner, they're the two people you really want to get going early on. You can have more than one of each, nothing to say you can't, but obviously for every worker you need a citizen's chest and the house built to level one, actually. If it's just the chest they will spawn, but they're much more likely to take their jobs if you build them their level one houses. So we'll set them going. When the builders finish this, he'll try and build those two. Now, as you can see, one of the other males has come and turned himself into the miner. But as you can see down here, he's saying he needs a pickaxe. So let's give him a pickaxe. And a shovel. He's asking for a shovel. Let's give him a shovel. Torches. Okay, torches. I always put them in the chest so he takes them. You can, I think, throw throw them at him. Um, that does generally work, but I'm better better make sure and put them in the hut if you ask me. So now he's got all the tools he needs. He's going to start digging away and going down. The level of his hut dictates how far below the ground he will dig. Um, so at level 1, I believe he goes down to level 43. So obviously that means he will not come across gold and redstone and diamonds and all the nice things. So you want to upgrade his hut to get him to dig deeper. The deeper he goes, the more likely he's come back with better stuff. As he's digging, he'll place torches to light up his way and he'll keep digging down. If you right click on him, you see he's carrying 62 torches, 12 dirt and 2 cobblestone, which is what he's dug out. So everything he digs out, he will bring back at the end of the day and put in his chest. Workers and people only work during the day. At night they return to their chests and try and sleep. Hide from the nasties that spawn and all other sorts of things. Let's just fill this in. They can get to the house a bit easier. There we go. So you can see it's night time. They're now slowly walking back to wherever they live. But for our purposes, I'm just going to skip ahead to daytime so they start working again. Right, let's check how he's doing for resources. Could do with some wood. So let's get, give him... Uh, idiot. Let's give him some more wood. Everyone likes wood. <coughs> Insert your own joke. Excellent. So, our miner is carrying on down. Now, he will dig out any block he comes... Th he paths through. But when he sees a vein of coal or iron or gold or diamond he will dig out the whole vein not just those blocks that happen to lie on the path he is digging um, so that's quite useful so we'll leave him digging and we'll go and set up the lumberjack now now the lumberjack needs quite a few trees if you want to keep him busy so I'm going to place him down build his house and I'm also going to throw a load of saplings around so extra trees start spawning the higher the level of lumberjack the further he will go in search of trees but best to just give him a load of trees nearby and then he hasn't got to walk too far so he's saying he's out of axes so let's give him an axe. The better the axe, the faster he will chop each block. So let's give him an iron axe now. You'll notice his backpack is empty because he's not carrying anything. But when he goes and chops a tree... There we go. And he starts filling up his backpack and 
chopping the tree. Now, when he's finished chopping the tree, he should plant a sapling in its place. So he will replace all the trees he chops down. Sustainable farming at its best. He will not plant saplings himself if there are no trees or he runs out of trees. That's your job. But you'll chop a tree, bring the wood back and put it in his chest. Now, the builder, if he runs out of wood in his chest, he will look around in all these other chests to see and he will come and take the wood from the lumberjack if he needs it. Also, the delivery man, he will pick up the wood from there, take it back to the warehouse, and again, the builder can come and get it if he wants himself. Now, let's see how our miner's getting on. Yeah, he's digging down quite far. Let's see what he's doing. Right, you can see he's been in here and he's dug that out. He's managed to miss one bit of coal, but as you can see, he's got 24 coal so far and one iron ore. Now he's currently digging out this bit of coal here, yeah, 26. So as you can see he's not sticking just to his natural path, he is digging out um, any veins he come across. Now this is likely going to confuse him that he's dug out his path, so I'm just going to place a block there so I can get out and that will help him. He will try and redig a tunnel to get back up home and sort himself out eventually, but it is a beta. His coding is a little old now. It's on a list to be redone soon. Um, but if they do get stuck, all the houses have recall citizens, which if you click it, will instantly, <clears throat> instantly call him back to his chest and suffocate him to death. But now he's back at his chest. He's depositing all the items he's mined back in his chest for you. And off he goes again. So... Our lumberjack's cutting down the trees, our builder's building our houses, and our miner's mining. That is the basics of the mod. That gets you started. You have resources coming in, and your builder is building. Your colony, let's check how our colony is doing. Yeah, we have a max population. Again, beta, little glitchy. That should say three. Builder, lumberjack, miner, but it doesn't. Um, but as you can see, settlers is five, three workers should make eight. So a few glitches, nothing ground, groundbreaking. As you can see, our taxes coming in. We have a surplus of six and no expenses at the moment. Again, a little bit glitchy. It will be fixed. So that is the basics of the mod. I'm going to leave it there. That gets you started. You can now play with your colony as you like expand it as you like, use the workers that you like. Um, Blacksmith, he's a new worker in this release that you wouldn't have seen if you've been playing the old Mine Colony mod. He will take the ore that the miner digs up and smelt it into ingots. He will create tools, armor, weapons, torches, uh, all sorts of things that your other workers are going to need. And the delivery man stitches all that together. So he will deliver the tools from the blacksmith back to the workers and take the stuff the workers get to the blacksmith and his warehouse and vice versa. So uh, the blacksmith, the final link in creating almost a self, uh, a self, hmm, what do you want to call it? An automated colony, Co colony, dear oh dear, colony. Yes, it's late, it's time I went to bed. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this quick spotlight. I will be doing individual ones on each of the workers and each sort of system in the mod. Um, just to give all the full details of that. Again, this was just a quick overview to get you started. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you like the mod and the video, give us a like on YouTube. That would be great. And we have a formal website with all the info and forums and things you can join in on at www.minecolonies.com. Um, so yeah, so look out for future updates, happy playing, give us your feedback, and see you soon. Bye.